Hola! Welcome to my hike. Thanks for joining, I'm Kevin. And today, I'm hiking in a canyon where I'm realizing that every tree here is actually a cell phone tower disguised as a tree. I never knew that before. Crazy, only in Los Angeles. Thanks for joining. Pull up your spanks, strap on that helmet, take your protein pills. Why don't we go take a hike? My shoulder jockey today, you know him, you love him. He's the host of a podcast called Thick Skin. He's currently on tour. It's called Bumping Mics. He's with David Tell, so funny. And also, he's the Roastmaster General on Comedy Central. Man, I'm taking a big risk hiking with this guy today. Whew. He's a buddy of mine, Jeff Ross. So I just saw on your Instagram that you were at the Super Bowl. Yeah. And you were kind of hobnob, and it seemed like with Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. What was that like? It was... Everyone's there, and obviously yeah. San Francisco is her area. So right. She was there. Yeah. Which amazed me because I know she's like you know running shit, and then also going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, and I was leaving, and in the rush to get out, um, I saw her. I just saw her. I didn't even know she was there. I just saw her taking pictures with um, some military that were just there to protect the Super Bowl. Yeah. And she seemed to be just hanging for a second, so I walked over, just said, hi, thanks for what you do for our country. Thank you for your service. Did she recognize you? I think so. Have you ever roasted her? No. <laughs> that would be a good one, though. <laughs> that would be a good one. She would probably tear me a new one like she did the uh, speech last night. Oh, man. It reminded me of when Sinead O'Connor ripped up the picture of the Pope I thought, on that, I, said, I thought the you same did? thing, yeah. Yeah, no, it, it was fun. I got to meet Lady Gaga, who I I love. saw that, man. Did you ever meet her before? I never met her before, and she came into our, our suite with her family. You have a suite. How do you get all this stuff, man? You know people, don't you? I have a lot of friends, Kevin. You have a lot of friends. I think they fear you, so they treat you nice. <laughs> That's what it is, man. It can't be your personality. It must not be. I have this um, viral infection, the doctor said, and I have, like, no energy. So the last thing I want to be doing right now is hiking with you. Well, don't blame me. <laughs> How's that make you feel? <laughs> I have a podcast, and I just get my guests stoned and let them eat while they do it. You do have a podcast. It's called Thick Skin yeah. with Jeff Ross. Yeah. And the thick skin comes from what you do. You are the Roastmaster General on uh, Comedy Central. Is that part of the Friars Club still? No. But Great. I learned all my roasting tricks at the Friars Club. I'm sure you did. Yeah. And you are great at what you do, and you put so much into it. You come out dressed like a general, or dressed <laughs> like whatever you feel like. Yeah. And uh, it really is no holds bar. You know, there's not a lot of places left, as you know, where you can really let loose. Yeah. And people want their comedy potent these days. Yep. Just like their medicine. <laughs> Wait, so do we, do we not rest? Yes. Believe me, I'm hopping more than you are. There's just a little incline here, then we'll get up to the top, and then it's all downhill. And we'll call an Uber. <laughs> when you mentioned thick skin, yeah. I learned something. I went to an elephant um, rescue yeah. a couple weeks ago, and they had an elephant there, and they're showing me, I'm meeting the elephant. I never met an elephant. And they're called pachyderms, as you know. What I didn't know is in language, in Latin, pachyderm means thick skin. And I touched the elephant and I was like, oh, okay, I get it. I didn't know that. Me neither. I was so happy to hear that. Because I love elephants. Do you? My mom used to say if the trunk was up, it was good luck. So I'd I... always collect little elephant statues and pictures. That's cool. I know quite a few elephants. I'll show you my contact list on my phone later. <laughs> but, uh, you're thick-skinned, but also you have that sensitive side to you that a lot of people I don't think they know when you're doing roasts. Uh -huh. Thanks. You have, from what I've experienced from you, is you are are very sensitive and thoughtful about people. And also you love to insult people. I think if I wasn't affectionate, I wouldn't get away with it. I'd probably get my ass kicked. Well, the Chicago <laughs> Tribune called you the Don Rickles of the millennial. That's a, quite a compliment. Have you met him? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you have. Yeah, no, I mean, he was... A big part of my comedy coming up. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't until, I mean, he was, he was one of my favorites even before I was a comedian. 
you ever do a roast and then start feeling bad for the person and start bailing out of like more insults? Uh, I think one time I... Caitlyn Jenner? No. She was all down with all of it. She was so happy to be part of the... I mean, she was ruthless herself. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I was super... Like, you know, I, as hard as I was, it could have been harder. Out of all the roasts you've done, I whose said, feelings do you think were hurt the most? Um, Who had the roughest time with it? Ann Coulter. But Ann I'm not Coulter. sure she has feelings. She was at the Rob Lowe roast. <laughs> okay. And we roasted her viciously. I heard. I and, heard. And she couldn't take it well. Have you been roasted? As opposed to somebody like Caitlyn, yeah. who, by the way, I asked Caitlyn Jenner, like, you know, have you ever done a roast before? And duh, she's like, Jeff, in 1971, I roasted Joe Namath at a Dean Martin roast. I'm like, she has more cred than I do. Like, she knew what she was getting into. Yeah. Yeah. I said, did uh, you? Yeah. I said, is that really Caitlyn Jenner or did somebody say Beetlejuice three times? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get um, bad reviews from your roast? Like, how could you, man? A couple times. But it doesn't affect you. You're thick-skinned. Um, no, I am sensitive. I have to. I know. I have to call my show thick skin, and I have to practice thick skin to get through that. Yeah. Because I'm not naturally thick-skinned. Right. I'm naturally um, sensitive. And as far as like hurting people's feelings, I go really, really. Hi. 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 Documenting. I, yeah. <laughs> Let us do the jokes, okay? <laughs> Documenting. We got hacked by some Russians just now. I have to be very careful to only roast people that are that are volunteers. And then once everybody's on board, it's like consent. Is that and, your your act when you do stand up? Is it just pretty much making fun of people? No, I do like a half hour talking about whatever I want. Yeah. Like lately, everything from honestly like Kobe passing away right up through my own life. It's just stuff that that hits me on an emotional level. I'll, I'll talk about for a solid. 30, 35 minutes, and then just to let loose, I'll start speed roasting volunteers who want to come up on stage. You're the only one I know that could speed roast somebody. <laughs> it's literally judging books by their cover. Definitely. You ever roast somebody, and as you're roasting them, saying, this is me, I'm this person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're... Like I'm making fun of someone who looks like me. They either look like you, or they have well, your that's same the same traits. Thing. Half the time, these people look great, and I'm telling them, you know, how terrible they look. And I, you know, yeah, I know. I'm up there looking like, uh, you know, <laughs> Bruce Willis if he if he drowned. You know, I'm one of those people where I don't really work out. Yeah. But when I do, I can get in shape in three days. Yeah. Like I can I can turn it on. It's a yeah. big roast coming up. I'm like Rocky. I'm like roasty. I'm like hitting the gym. You are um, on tour right now with Dave Attell. Yeah. Bumping mics. Yeah. Which is a really Bump cool. Bump it out, baby. A really cool. Uh, <laughs> it's a cool name for a tour, and it's also probably a great show. Have you you got to see it. It's something we started doing for fun late at night at the comedy clubs. He'd have a spot at one in the morning at the comedy cellar, and yeah. I'd fly in from LA, and I'd be lonely, so I'd go to the cellar to see who was hanging out. And I'd go down and watch him, and he'd just be like, Jeff, how was your flight? And next thing I know, I'm on stage with him. And it took a couple years of just putzing around for me to go, Dave, let's, let's do some shows. Yeah. And then I came up with the name Bumping Mics because we would always bump mics. And he hated that. He said, no way. He said, it's too on the nose. Um, so you do a lot of tours, man. You do USO stuff. Yeah. Prison stuff. Yeah. I saw, was it the Patriot Act? Yeah. Oh, Your you film? Remember? Yeah. Patriot right. Act was in Iraq. Yeah. That was kind of like this with a handheld camera. Right. During the early days of the war. And uh, I did one in a jail called Jeff Ross Roast Criminals. I had a room full of inmates. I said, where are my murderers at? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Two guys in the front row raised their hand. <laughs> and I did one at the border where the mayor of of this little border town. I saw that. Let me roast migrants as they crossed over into America. <laughs> but <laughs> my with, way of welcoming them. With the criminals, though, did you ever fear for your safety? Always. The but you time. always fear for your safety, even outside of a town. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you talk smack for a living, it helps to be a black belt in karate, which I am. 
Did but, you get letters from them? You know, it's funny you mention that. I was at a show over Grammy weekend. Um, there was a tribute to Prince. Yeah. I went to it, and this guy sits next to me. He's like, Jeff Ross? I'm like, uh-huh. He's like, dude, I was, in the, I was in the audience when you were in my jail. I was in jail, you came and did a show. Oh. <laughs> I think, oh, that's amazing, man. He yeah, goes, have you made friends with any of them? And, and he, I go, what do you do now? He's like, he works at the Kobe Bryant basketball camp. Mama. Yeah. Jeez. So it's, it's fun when you see people come out and had some hope and I gave them a little, I mean, there's an argument to be made that they don't deserve any fun at all in jail. Yeah. But then I go, 90% of the people in county jails are gonna be coming out. There are neighbors, there are relatives, there are mm -hmm. friends. You gotta treat them with dignity. What were you like in high school? Were you quiet? Or were you the wise guy? I was kind of in between. Were you well liked and popular? I, I kept quiet until I saw my moment and then I pounced. Your timing was good back yeah, then. Yeah. I always make a joke right before the bell rang. <laughs> when people are just staring at the clock. <laughs> and you're dating now? Yeah, I've been dating. Because for a long time you were without a girlfriend. Yeah. And you kept saying, got anybody you can hook me up with? And I said, look at me, Jeff. I'm not a miracle maker. <laughs> 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 How's that feel? What's the sickest you've ever been? Um, I remember I came back in college. I went to Russia. And I came back, flew all night, and got home and shit my bed. <laughs> Is that anything different than normal? <laughs> <laughs> you get recognized much? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Are they a little... Intimidated by you? <laughs> Some people will be afraid. But it's weird. I think early in the days of my roasting career, people were intimidated. But now they go, it's almost like I'm their brother or their uncle or their cousin. Like, yeah. Jeff! Like right. they feel like they know me because I roasted Justin Bieber for them. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel I, like I vicariously roast people who deserve it sometimes. Do you think those people that are roasted are better people afterwards? Well, I think it gives them a chance to laugh at themselves, which I think in itself is, is strengthening. It's healing. Right. You know, if you can laugh at yourself, you're one step closer to wherever you're going. I don't know if I could put myself through that. I'd really start nervous. roasting you with that Gilligan hat. That would work. <laughs> I loved you on, on Golden Pond. Really <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good look. What season were you on to catch a predator? <laughs> Remind me not to wear this when you roast me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the worst hiker you've ever had on this? Uh, so far, right now, you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've had a lot of fires in Los Angeles lately. Yeah. If you had to evacuate your house, yeah. what would you take? If you could only take three things. Wow, what a good question. I would take my girlfriend, my dog. Okay, forget about them. I would take this one. You can't ring. take them. Well, I guess I'd have this on. You'd have it on. But this is my grandfather's ring. It's a bolt from a submarine in World War II. Wow. A Nazi submarine. He was in the U.S. Coast Guard. What was he doing on a Nazi submarine? They, they captured it and dismantled it. I'd probably take the guitar, my high school guitar. Yeah? Because I love it. You play the guitar? A little bit. The last thing I would take, I would probably take all the challenge coins that I have been given by the military over my many USO tours because that That's means great. a lot to me. Good doggy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. You know Jeffrey Ross, right? Yeah, of yeah. Course. Hello. Hello. Nice, to meet you guys. Yes. nice to meet you. He likes to insult people, so don't feel bad. <laughs> I've seen some ugly dogs before, but that one takes the cake. I'm just kidding. What were you talking about? Your hat. All right. <laughs> That's a good hat. Are you going to help someone paint the bathroom? Do you have like a stockpile of stuff? No, with there's no stuff? stockpile of dumb You just hats have a lot of hatred of inside of you. <laughs> just a good watcher, listener. Do you um, bring bags with you to the grocery store or do you get there and go, oh, I forgot a bag? I'm going to the fucking grocery. What am I, a peasant? No. Who shops for you? My servants. <laughs> is, it, is it rude to call them a servant? No? <laughs> Not if they're a servant. Is it better staff? <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you want a tux? I have a couple. Oh, really? It's different yeah. sizes. <laughs> so who intimidates you? I saw Larry David last night. He intimidates me. Where'd you see him? He used to, oh. but now I'm breaking through. Yeah. Um, comedians and, and musicians that I revere. Would Julia Roberts intimidate you? Um, I was more starstruck. I think if I met Bob Dylan, I'd be intimidated. Oh, right, right. Any of those. Bruce Springsteen, maybe I was intimidated a little bit. One time he was working out next to me at the Hollywood YMCA when I first moved to LA. Wow. Like in 1980. Bruce? Yeah, he was doing curls. In, it was just me and him. Right. He was doing curls, and I was spotting him. Oh, really? <laughs> no. He was doing curls, though, next to me. That's I looked cool. over, and I thought, that's Springsteen. Wow. It was like the height of his career, too. Wow. Did you say hi? No, I left him alone. How's it going? How's that photo shoot? How's yours? <laughs> Pretty good, thanks. Cool. You guys do a lot of photo shoots up here? Yeah. Huh. Are you shooting a video? It's um, a hiking video called oh, Hiking cool. with Kevin. Posting hi. every Thursday. He's in the What's your name? Amethyst. Amethyst? Mm -hmm. Is that a gem? Yeah, it's a purple crystal. Nice. Are you an actress? No, I'm a singer. Cool. Amethyst Franklin. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What does your girlfriend like about you? She says I'm like a Jersey gangster. Like Tony Soprano. She likes when I, when I, uh, you know, wear a silky shirt and talk a big game. She likes when I act like the boss. You got a pinky ring at home? No. She got a pinky ring. She got a pinky. That's a good idea. Who's your favorite bad guy in the movies? Harvey Keitel is amazing. Yeah. Bad Lieutenant. Yes. That one. He's terrifying. I like, like De Niro, too, also in uh, that movie. Uh... Rocky and Bullwinkle? <laughs> yeah. No, that movie he I was did. in that movie. He were? That movie was so bad, I have to send them residuals. <laughs> that one I had in my pocket. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back to my file of stupid head jokes. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff Ross. Man, I got roasted by Jeff Ross. I should have thought twice about wearing this hat. My Gilligan hat. Well, it's a good thing I didn't wear my chaps. It was actually kind of fun getting roasted. I, I get it now. I get it. Thanks for joining my hike. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Happy trails.